file sync solutions. Well, if you are looking for a file sync solution, then you may just be in the right place. You've clicked on the correct video. Today, I am going to have a look at Resilio Sync. I'm also going to have a look at Sync Thing, and I want to figure out which one holds better features, but not just in general, more towards your particular needs. So without further ado, let's explore them. All right, we're having a look at Resilio Sync. So Resilio Sync allows you to connect all of your devices directly without needing central servers. You can sync your photos, videos, documents, as well as your PDFs across your entire ecosystem. You can transfer independent parts of files for dramatically improving your speed. Resilio also offers great performance and reliability. It's actually 10 times faster at syncing. Its output um, performance uh, traditionally outperforms cloud solutions through its P2P technology. Also, it supports one-way, two-way, and one-to-many, as well as n-way configurations, and it has a 100% network reliability. So it will work over any network with advanced WAN optimization. It also offers real-time collaboration, so you can enable global teams to work on files simultaneously with instant updates. You can manage on-premises cloud or even multi-cloud setups from one single interface, and you can protect all your files with their native AES-256 encryption during your synchronization. Let's have a look at sync thing. So SyncThing is a peer-to-peer -peer synchronization platform. Um, it enables direct device-to-device -device file synchronization without any central server. It connects with Windows, Mac, Linux, Android, and BSD devices in a secure mesh network. You can see also you have complete data ownership, so all of your files stay on your device. There's no cloud storage or even third-party servers that are required. All communication between devices is secure with a TLS encryption. Your data never, ever travels unprotected. Your data is also never exposed to anybody else. Only devices that you authorize can access your files. The entire code base is actually open source and audible. So there are no hidden backdoors or secret data collection. Let's have a look at some of their key advantages and recap. You can see over here it's lightweight with minimal CPU and memory use. It's optimized for both powerful desktops and resource constrained devices. It has selective synchronization, so you can actually choose exactly which folders to share with specific devices. It maintains different sharing relationships with each connected peer, which is a great way to manage your synchronization. It has a built-in file versioning, which protects against accidental changes. You can restore previous versions with customizable retention policies, and automatically you can repair and synchronize after any network disruption. So there's no manual intervention required when connections actually drop. So there we go. With so many options available, it's often difficult to make a decision and um, stick to the decision. My advice always is to try all of your options, even if it is for a short amount of time, just to see what actually works for you with a more hands-on approach and then make a decision thereafter. Just remember that we're all individuals and we all have individual needs. If this was really helpful, drop us a like and we'll see you next time.